Good evening. Good evening. And welcome to the 2019 graduation exercise here at Edgecombe Community College. Before we get started to the main event, um, I'd like to play a little commencement.
And if you will please rise for the entrance of our 2019 graduating class.
Good evening. Good evening. Let us pray. Eternal God, in your will, our lives are lived. And by your wisdom, truth is found. We pray for these graduates who are finishing their courses of study and moving on to something new. Protect them as they leave behind their current academic work to take place in the world. Remind them daily of your love and care. Help them to stay true to their dreams, to use their gifts wisely, and to walk into the future with faith, hope, and great love. Bless them with the fruit of their labors and make their lives a blessing to all. We invite your presence here tonight, Lord, because we realize that we surely can't do anything without you. So bless every graduate, every parent, every student here tonight, and put your loving arms all around them. We ask these blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. This evening, the college will graduate 496 students. Good things. 
Thank you for letting us share in your achievements, family, friends, and special guests. Let me also thank you for your support of these graduates and the college and for your presence here this evening. This program recognizes faculty who exemplify the highest standards in instruction. Edgecombe Community College has recognized teaching excellence since 1987. The college selects a teaching award winner who initiates innovative teaching methods, interacts successfully with students, demonstrates leadership beyond the classroom, and exhibits unselfish devotion and significant contributions to the student college, and system. Tonight, the Edgecombe Community College Foundation is pleased to recognize the 2019 Excellence in Teaching Award winner. This instructor received multiple nominations for this honor, and these adjectives were mentioned all. Driven, eager, encouraging, enthusiastic, a passion for students and her profession. She creates new and innovative ways to deliver coursework so that students have the most current information and course delivery methods. Her program is entirely online, but she finds interesting ways to engage her students, such as online chat sessions and video lectures to help students remain connected. She is a leader at the college and in her profession. Among her many roles here at ECC, she is co-chair of the SACS COC Quality Enhancement Plan Initiative, which is critical to the reaffirmation of our school accreditation. In December 2017, her program's accrediting body surveyed her program and awarded it a score of 98 out of 100, which is very rare. So rare, in fact, that she was asked to speak at the organization's annual conference on best practices. She went on to record training videos for this group that will assist instructors nationwide. This instructor holds a Bachelor of Science and a Master of Science degrees from East Carolina University. She also holds a Graduate Certificate in Health Informatics from ECC. In addition, she is a Registered Health Information Administrator. She is President of the East Region of the North Carolina Health Information Management Association and a member of the ECU Department of Health Services and Information Management Advisory Board for both the baccalaureate and master degree programs. Please join the foundation and salute the 2019 Edgecombe Community College Excellence in Teaching Award winner, Nicole Harris. Tonight, the Edgecombe Community College Foundation 
is pleased to recognize the 2019 staff award receipt. This exceptional staff member exhibits a strong work ethic, enthusiasm, reliability, and a high degree of initiative and dedication to the job, the college, and our students. Fellow employees say this staff member is always willing to go that extra mile for students and the college. This committed individual began her affiliation with ECC as a student, earning an associate degree in business administration in 2010. She started working at the college as an administrative assistant on our Tarbar campus in 2012. Like so many of our students who work full time, she completed a bachelor's degree while working full time and earning a degree in business from business administration at North Carolina Wesleyan College. Currently, she is pursuing an MBA at East Carolina University. Though she is an administrative assistant for continuing education, she supports multiple departments. As one colleague remarked, she is able to multitask several projects at once since her duties are split between several coordinators and a Her desire to help students and fellow employees is always clear and present. Please join the foundation in saluting the 2019 Edgecombe Community College Staff Award winner, Brittany Harrison. Thank you. 
technical skills. Skills Real Estate offers a state and national competition for students to demonstrate their technical skills. Graduates who competed this year are Ian Carlisle, McKenzie Butler, Brian Rodriguez, and Gary Park. Skills Real Estate competitors, will you please stand?
58 students for their academic achievements. Mr. Robert LaChapelle Ford, otherwise known as Chad, is the 2019 North Carolina Community College Academic Excellence Award recipient from ECC. He graduates this evening with an associate arts degree, which is a college transfer degree. Mr. LaChapelle has taken advantage of extracurricular and leadership opportunities available to him. During, during his time at ECC, he was inducted into Phi Theta Kappa, Honor Society, and has been an active member of the High Altitude Balloon Club. He says that participating in, in these organizations has been life-changing. He certainly has changed us, shining both a national and international spotlight on our college. Last year, he was a member of the ECC team that won first place in the nation at Skilled USA competition for career and technical education students. This year, just like Mr. Parker did last year, Mr. LaChapelle won the Five Thirty Capital International Distinguished Chapter Member Award. Let me, re let me remind everyone that only 30 individuals are selected worldwide each year for this award. Edgecombe Community College has been extremely honored by these international winners for the past two years. What an accomplishment. We are so proud. Mr. LaChapelle will transfer to North Carolina Wesleyan College this fall, where he will begin a coursework toward his four-year degree. He has obtained a GPA of 3.902. Mr. 
you will see the back of this on the back of the program. Those students who have been selected to membership in Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. Phi Theta Kappa is an honor society whose purpose is to recognize and encourage scholarship among two-year college students with a cumulative grade point average of 3.5 or higher. Will all graduates who are members of Phi Theta Kappa please stand? Advisory Committee 
on diversity and digital empowerment, the Women's Business Enterprise National Council, the National Minority Supplier Development Council, the LA National Urban League, the Congressional Black Caucus Foundation Board, and Harvard University's Women's Leadership Board of the Kennedy School of Government. And if that is not enough, she also serves as a U.S. Ambassador for the Department of Energy's Minorities in Energy. At this time, let's turn our attention to the projection screens to learn more about Mrs. Howard and her considerable accomplishments. guest speaker today, the first African-American woman to own a billion dollar company. She started the company in 1976 with just a few hundred dollars. She's now ranked by Forbes as second wealthiest self-made African-American woman in America behind only Ms. Oprah Winfrey. Act One is one of the largest staffing companies in the United States. She's also the first African-American ever named by the Star Group as one of the 50 leading women entrepreneurs in the world. Janice and I were recently both honored at the BET Honors Awards, and she is a, a true inspiration. She spent almost 40 years helping others find work. She could fill a book with her words of wisdom. Do you feel like the climate has changed for women, and especially for minority women? Let's be clear, the climate has changed, but it's not sunny weather. This journey is not one that I consider having reached success, rather, I believe I'm on the road of success. welcomed in the bosom of my hometown. And, as Dr. McLeod said, you just don't know how good you look. You look incredible, breathless. Dr. McLeod, Dr. Price, all of these people on stage who are here representing what is so awesome, your graduation, I thank you for inviting me here to speak with you, and I pray I bring you a message that can stead you well as you continue this journey. I asked my son, Brett Howroy, who's in Guatemala right now, what should I talk about? What should I tell them? He said, Mom, tell them the truth. Now the truth is wide, and the truth can run narrow. How do you tell the truth? Have you told the truth without telling a complete story? Or is the truth better delivered in doses as a medicine? You're about to continue your journey, your career journey. I think the best way for me to share with you the truth is to give you some of the key elements of where truth has served me well, and where I believe it can be relevant to you. You see, the truth is, this place is crowded out here. A lot of people are here who care about you. Some of them have helped you to get to this point. Some of them didn't believe you'd make it to this point. <laughs> and some of them are praising God right now, can't hear my voice because they're so grateful you got to this point. Do you hear me? Yes. So, as I approach my conversation about truth, I want to tell you that truth is the foundation of trust. And trust is how you build your life, is how you build a career, and is how you build a business. Amen? Amen. Now, you trust it that Edgecombe community was going to deliver you something worth the time and money you invested to be present. Amen? Y'all, we're in the South. Can we say amen? amen? All right. There are a lot of places I go, I get shot down for saying amen. And I don't go back. <laughs> and, and 
And so when we, when we talk about this element of trust, you saw a video that talked about a business I built. That business was built by trust. And the foundation of that trust was my faith. Most people who talk with me know I talk about faith. How many of you right here believe that your faith was elemental to you getting to where you are right now? Now don't get all worried. I ain't gonna try to get up in here and pray to y'all, okay? I ain't gonna try to preach to you. I'm just delivering you the message from me living my best life. All right? Right over there is a lady, Elretha Knight Bryant, born in Tarboro, married a man from Tarboro. Those two people raised 11 children. I'm one of them. Now, since we're talking about truth and trust, I can't tell y'all that I'm the baby in the family, okay? <laughs> that, that, that's out there on the internet, okay? And I got a couple of siblings here who would dispute that anyway. What I can tell you is that Elretha and John delivered 10 siblings to me who became my best friends in the world. And that friendship was built on the trust that we knew each other. We've grown up. You can trust a person for what they can do and you can trust them for what they can't do. My sister Linda told me just earlier, if that lady walks you out of here when I leave, you can trust her. I know her. You see what I'm saying? You see where I'm coming from? And so as you walk out of here today with your diplomas, one of the biggest things that you're going to encounter as you walk forward is whether you are trustworthy as you build your careers. Trust is not given, it is earned. Do you hear me? And, 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 and here's the thing. Here's the thing about trust, y'all. I trust that you've learned well based on the good character and the capability of the teachers you had at this school, of the learning process you've gone through. I'm a product of the North Carolina education system. I know we put the right stuff out. Okay? But you're at the beginning, because what are you attending right now? You're at a commencement. What does commencement mean? It does not mean the completion of your education. It means the beginning of your life therefrom. When something commences, it does what? It starts. Come on, y'all the scholars. Y'all the scholars. Speak it out. Don't be afraid of it. Okay? You're at the beginning of something. Now, here's the interesting thing about talking at a community college. You're talking with people who've already gone out there and done something that came back to create a new school. You're talking, about, you're talking with students who came straight from high school. You're talking about many commencements. The truth is, you're talking about something very dear to my heart and my life, something many employers coming to this area will be looking for. And that is the truth of inclusion. This graduating class is one of the most citizen inclusive I have spoken to. And I've sp spoken to classes all over the world, not just the United States. And contained within the near 500 of you are ethnicities, gender, age, fields of study. And I could go on and on, but the point of it is we're all in one body commencing toward a new storm, trusting trusting that we're not only ready for that storm, but that we can bring value to others as we can do. You see, when, when, when we were growing up, we had a mom and a daddy in our house, and oftentimes when I say I'm one of the 11 children, I always, I, 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 I always get that laughter, and I have to come back and say, one mom, one dad. 
Now that's out of no disrespect to any type of family we form these days. It's important I say that because that lady right over there, she trusted this community that you've grown up in to deliver to her children a future. When I look at you, I'm so tempted to think back to when I was in school in Tarbo. I attended W.A. Patillo School. How many of you in here went to W.A. Patillo School? <gasps> More hands than I thought. Oh, wait a minute, some of y'all, y'all are the new W.A. Patillo School. <laughs> I'm talking about the old W.A. Patillo School, the OG. How many of you attended the OG W.A. Patillo School? Some over there, I think I saw one over there, and some of y'all are ashamed to admit it because you put your age out to say that. <laughs> but when I attended that school, I sat on stage and looked at you guys and thought about when I attended that school, what did the future look like to me? What did I trust my future to be? When I attended W.A. Patillo School, if I can be real honest with you, I didn't trust myself to cross certain streets. Because I grew up in a different Tarboro and a different South than you're growing up in. When you look at the news today, you hear so much confusion. How many of you watch me? How many of you get it on the internet? You see, many of you don't watch because you don't what? You don't trust it. And so it's very important that you continue this journey you're on, and you've got such a splendid start from this school, that you become one of those elements of life, one of those partners in life, one of those deliverers who can be trusted. What does it say on the currency of this great nation? Say it again. God we trust. Now y'all read it, and you see it says in God we trust, but many of you trust the paper more than you do the God. <laughs> Amen? Okay. And so when, when, when I talk with you about trust, many of you attended this school because you trusted it to deliver to you the education to allow you to go out and gain the experience to earn the money that in this country has written on it, in God we trust. Do you see how this trust is tying in to every element of your life? You don't get to walk away from trust. And building trust is a lot easier than rebuilding trust. So it's really important when you walk out of here today that you walk not just trusting in yourself, but you're going to have to trust in others around you. And that's a very difficult thing for some people. It's a very difficult thing to walk in trusting. I hear the sound of a baby in this room. That baby is trusting whoever, who's ever lap they're sitting in, to be a caregiver, yes? When you were a child, who did you trust? Nobody I heard somebody say. <laughs> and we laugh. But the truth is, the truth is, when you've got no one to trust, it's no laughing now. You see what I'm saying? Are, are, are you still with me? And so I want to walk you through a stage of how to design your life built on trust. First step, first step of building trust is being very open to explore who you truly are. You gotta be very open to that. Many of us smile and dress up and look good and we start to believe what we see in the mirror. Amen? And it's all right to walk out. You should look good. Please look 
look good when you're walking out. But remember to examine who you are. Be open to learn who you are inside. You see, some of you are going to be going on job interviews. Some of you got jobs and you're looking for elevations in your career, right? You're looking for promotions. Heads are nodding. Who you are in here is as big as you're ever going to be. So you've got to make sure you're open enough and trust your ability enough to see who you really are. And that is very important right now because we are being messaged from so many places today. Technology is delivering us so much information that many of us cannot even consume it well. Some of us don't even know how to consume it at all. But be open, know the truth of who you are inside. What did Socrates say? To thine own self, be true. When you walk out of this door, your degrees are gonna represent a lot about you to other people. You know who you are inside. Build from that. Second point, second point I wanna give you in this journey. Welcome earning other people's trust. <clears throat> Don't walk jaded into your future. See, a lot of you nodded in agreement about not trusting some folks too, or not trusting the news, or not trusting what the manufacturer says about the product you're buying. But you've gotta be open a little bit. You've gotta be open a little bit. Be prepared to continue studying. This is the commencement of your future. It is not the completion of your learning. What is wisdom? Wisdom is the immaculate marriage of experience to knowledge. What did I say? Wisdom is the immaculate marriage of experience to knowledge. The root word of knowledge is know. You've got to continue this learning journey. And it'll feed back that then, when you are wise, you can bring discernment to the decisions you make. Some of y'all go to church. Have you ever heard the preacher, the minister, the rabbi, the whoever talk about discernment? No discernment is, a, it, it, it is possible where wisdom does not exist. Continue learning. Continue the quest to know. Next step, next to the last step, invest. You think you've made an investment thus far in your education at this school. You must continue to invest in your own education and in those of others. By the way, you can also give back to this school when you walk out of this door this evening with this diploma, but continue to invest. You know, when we were growing up, uh, and I mentioned there were 11 of us, we used to play games of all sorts. And mama would come in, and she would tell the older kid to take care of the younger kid. How many of you have had that circumstance in your own life? Yeah, quite a few of you, right? And so I was Sandy's baby, my oldest sister. You see what I'm saying? And my baby was Zest. I'm sorry, I'm on stage. Her name is Linda. Mm -hmm. But we called her Zest at home. And she was my baby. And, 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 and we, we really were able to trust each other as siblings more in our younger lives than a, 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 on, dependent on who our parents were and how they treated us and how they told us to trust. 
than we were on anything we'd actually done ourselves. But as we continued that journey of growing up, we gained experience with each other. And we got to the point where we knew how to trust each other based on who we are. And today we're one of the most clannish families you can ever see because we trust each other. But we invested in each other to get to that point. We invested time, we've invested resources, and we've invested truth with each other. So continue to invest as you build this journey. And then the last, the last element I want to share with you is one that I bring to everything I do, and I'm asked this across the world. Y'all know I've been to over 60 countries. There's no place like home. Mm -hmm. And I will tell you, first I want to back up and tell you something that we share with our children growing up, so you'll understand the depth of where I'm coming from. As our children were growing up, our two children, Bernie and I would teach them, you have everything you need to be everything you need to be. Now we didn't tell them you have everything you need to be everything you want to be. We taught them you have everything you need to be everything you need to be. Are, are you with me? Amen? Living on that truth, which is what our mother taught us. She taught us other things like information, is, uh, education is freedom. She taught us uh, information is power. She bought books for us. Now, many of you are reading online, right? But back in the day when I was going to school, it was all in paper, paper and pages. She taught us uh, information was power, and she invested money she really didn't have. She and dad into books for us. All of these things led to the last element of how I want you to understand building a life of trust and truth. And it is what I have said publicly. Any of you who have followed me, is Miss Rashina in this room right now? Hey, Miss Rashina. Miss Rashina is my friend on, on social media, y'all. Okay? Congratulations on your graduation. I pray you become an excellent journalist. You've got the foundation from here, and God bless you. Y'all shout. social media, and I'm going to give to you in the presence of all these people this last element of how I pray you will build forward a life of truth and trust. And I've said it publicly, truth bears repeating, as mama would say, okay? Never compromise who you are personally to become who you wish to be professional. We live in one of the most exciting times ever, and every generation has said that, and every generation has been truthful, but this is your moment. You have every opportunity in front of you, and, 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 and the field won't always be level. Let's be real. Some of those things that Dr. McLeod read about me and my journey and the work that I'm doing, I get to see where we are. I know that we need internet here. My work at the FCC is dedicated toward helping us get better internet in this neighborhood. Because some of y'all study about internet get interrupted a little bit too often, don't you? All right, amen. And, 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 and I know, I know that when we're in, 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 in Edgecombe County, we're in one of the poorest sections of the nation when we're right here. But let me tell you something. When I went away to college at North Carolina A&T State University, and you know me. When I went away to that university, I didn't know I was poor. And I went on a scholarship. That meant I was academically bright. And I sat in the classroom and I heard some numbers read out. And the instructor was talking about e the economy. And I thought, oh my God, I didn't hear another thing that day. I thought, oh my God, we're poor. <laughs> Mom and Dad never told us we were poor. <laughs> the truth is, if you grew up during my time over in East Tarbor, and you knew the Bryant, you thought we were pretty well off. We had 
had a garden on the back and along the side. A few flowers, but mostly food. <laughs> Summer garden, winter garden, spring garden. And we always had a little bit of something to give somebody else. And people could trust that Miss Elrita Bryant or Mr. John Hardy Bryant meant what they said when they said they would help her out to pay that. And Mama and Daddy never let the financial circumstance of our being influence the emotional state of our minds. Being poor is no excuse. Poor in your pocket is very different than being poor in your spirit. And I'm here to tell you, I'm here to tell you that when I walk around the world, and yes, I walk around the world, I am living my best life. And when I walk around the world, I never take a journey that delivers an outcome sweeter than that of coming home. Mama and Daddy taught me that if I could see it, if I could believe it, if I could conceive it and believe it, I could achieve it. You compete on a global level no matter what you do today. Technology became the geography for my business. But information is the power of it. And you have learned in this school, and you'll continue to learn. And as you continue that journey, I want, as you continue that journey, I want, I pray that you will remember to take care of the people who got you here. <laughs> in you and you must trust in them. Because people are always ask me, oh, you go, do you ever go back home? Do you, well, I can't go back home. I'm always home, okay? I'm in and out. Y'all don't see me, but I'm in and out a lot. But those folks are in and out of California a lot, too. That's how our family works. You see, we trust each other. And the people who are crowding this space today to be here to celebrate you, they have trusted in you. You have trusted in them. It is the commencement of the rest of your life. This is the commencement of the rest of your life. All of your errors, all of your, we used to teach, we taught our children a little prayer. We say, the supreme intelligence is my strength. All of my weaknesses are forgiven. I forgive everybody and I forgive myself. Only good comes into my life. That's the prayer we taught our children growing up. That's the prayer mom and dad delivered to us as children to live from, to learn from, to give from. As you continue this journey, remember the elements I've taught you today on how to live and build a life of truth and trust. Remember to trust in the God, not the green, on that piece of paper. Remember to trust in your own ability to not have to compromise who you are personally to become who you wish to be professionally. And as I, because I heard him pray about Jesus in here, I think it's okay for me to like conclude a little bit there. As, as our Jesus taught us, remember the least of these. Remember the least of these. Please, when you throw those hats up in the air, like you just don't care. <laughs> care. Continue to care. The business that I have built and the business that I am building is founded on faith and family. Faith and family. There are people who work in our organization today there are people who work in our organization today who I may not have a biological tie to in the immediate, because those of us who believe in creation, we believe we're biologically attached. 
But there are people in my organization who I don't have a biological relationship to who are as much family as others are because we believe and we have faith in each other. We trust in each other. Are you with me? Yes. Are you with me? Yes. Are you with me? Yes. All right. Then I want you to do what I'm doing. In one, in, 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 in a few seconds, you got to listen first. Listen to me. Y'all been in classroom, you know how to listen. It ain't no good. You, you got to listen to me. You're going to stand up. You're going to turn around. And you're going to thank everybody who trusted in you to get you to this point who's here representing for you today, honoring you. Now, I'm going to count to three, and this is what you're going to say when you stand up and turn around and look at it. You're going to say, thank you for the trust. You can trust in me. And when you say that, you're delivering your truth toward who you intend to be from this great moment. This is a great moment. I am hallelujah happy to be up in here with you. Okay? So I want you to now stand up, turn around, and on the count of three, what are you going to say? Wait a minute, I didn't count. Well, good evening and welcome again to this wonderful celebration. 
My name is Harry Starnes, Vice President of Instruction. Tonight's a special occasion when we honor our graduates for their academic achievement and for their dedicated participation in community outreach efforts and accomplishments. In your programs, you will also notice a list of graduates' names who took the Work Keys Assessment, recognizing them for achievement through certificates of career readiness. Work Keys is an industry-based skills assessment system that measures real-world skills critical to job success. Students have the opportunity to obtain a platinum, bronze, silver, or gold credential in these three areas. Reading for information, applied mathematics, and locating information. 90% of all occupations utilize these three critical areas. This portable credential enables employers to correlate the student or applicant skill with the skills required for the job. Most importantly, our graduates will have an edge over their competitors in the job market because they will be able to present to prospective employers not only a diploma, but also a certificate of career readiness. Edgecote Community College is striving to do its part to ensure a prepared workforce both locally and regionally. Students, congratulations on your achievement. We're proud of you. And now, at this time, I ask the candidates to prepare to present themselves for graduation. We will be calling out student names by academic division. This will be led by the academic, academic dean of each division. We will begin with the Division of Arts and Sciences, which is led by Dean Cheryl Wood. Dean Wood is out of town attending the graduation for her son and is thus unable to be with us this evening. In her absence, I invite Krista Saunders, Chair of our Science, Health, and Physical Education Department to come forward and present candidates from the Division of Arts and Sciences for graduation. The Saunders. Good evening. Johnny L. Andrews, Jr. <laughs> Haley Bain. Jeremy Baker. Jordan Rianne Bottoms. Ian Walker Carlisle, Associates in Arts, Certificate Welding Technology. Courtney Casper Gardner, Associates in Arts. Niaja Danielle Dickens Jones, Associates in Arts. Heather Morgan Kai Farmer, Associates in Arts. Giovanna Goss, Associates in Arts. Gordon Gabriel Hamio, Associates in Arts. Kenneth M. Harrell, Associates in Arts. Jante Kamel Harris, Diploma, Associates in Arts. 
Robert John LaChapelle the Fourth, Associates in Arts. Larry Buck Lancaster the Third, Associates in Arts. Michaela Brooke Lee, Associates in Arts. Anthony Marcus Lim, Associates in Arts, Associates in Science. Ryan Joshua Neal, Associates in Arts. Alexis Gray Radford, Associates in Arts, Certificate Medical Billing. Rashina Nicole Smith, Associate in Arts. Elijah Sherrod, Associate in Arts. Natasha Sherry Sutton, Associate in Arts. Jenna Carson Thorne, Associate in Arts. Samantha Wainwright, Associate in Arts. Atiana Whitaker, Associate in Arts. Kimberly Nicole Harris, Associate in General Education. Tavares Burles, Associate in Science. Isaac J. Carlos, Associate in Science, Certificate Information Technology Exploration, Certificate Construction Building. Saul Jr. Cisneros, Associate in Science. Adam Michael Clark, Associate in Science. Jacqueline Marie Dickens, Associate in Science. Megan Alexandria Ecker, Associate in Science, Certificate Historic Preservation Technology. Marcia Gar Maria Garcia, Associate in Science. Hunter McCall Hale, Associate in Science. Garrett Lee Parker, Associate in Science. Taylor LaRue Redmond, Associate in Science. Aaron David Riggs, Associate in Science, Certificate Business Leadership. Brian Rodriguez, Associate in Science. Anna Jasmine Rojas Gabriel, Associate in Science. LaShonda Sykes, Associate in Science. Michaela Grace Thompson, Associate in Science. Christopher E. Nalepka, Associate in Science Engineering. And Shante Monique Blunt, Associate in Applied Science, Criminal Justice Technology. Glenda Lise M. Concepcion, Associate in Applied Science, Criminal Justice Technology, Certificate Crime Assessment. <laughs> Kayla Denny, Associate in Applied Science, Criminal Justice Technology. Erin <laughs> McKenzie Grimes, Associate in Applied Science, Criminal Justice Technology.
Laverne Faye Johnson, Associate in Applied Science, Criminal Justice Technology. Terry E. Johnson, Associate in Applied Science, Criminal Justice Technology. Demetra Latona Lane, Associate in Applied Science, Criminal Justice Technology. Larry Newkirk, Jr., Associate in Applied Science, Criminal Justice Technology. Sharon Pierce Whitley, Associate in Applied Science, Criminal Justice Technology. Travis Ryan Starkweather, Associate in Applied Science, Criminal Justice Technology. Brittany Bradley, Associate in Applied Science, Human Services Technology, Certificate Substance Abuse. Hattie D. Bullock, Associate in Applied Science, Human Services Technology. Shonda Pittman Kimball, Associate in Applied Science, Human Services Technology, Certificate Substance Abuse. Sequoia Foreman Sherrod, Associate in Applied Science, Human Services Technology. Shirley Marie Tate, Associate in Applied Science, Human Services Technology. Sharina Zene Whitaker, Associate in Applied Science, Human Services Technology, Certificate Substance Abuse. Good afternoon, I am Michael Starling and I'm happy to represent the Division of Business, Industry and Technologies. Kristen Ann Bozeman, Associate of Applied Science Accounting. Sean H. Smith, Associate in Applied Science Accounting. Jessica Battle, Associate in Applied Science, Accounting and Finance. Ashley Godwin, Associate in Applied Science, Accounting and Finance and Business Administration, Certificate Accounting and Finance. Latoya Lachelle Albritton, Associate in Applied Science, Business Administration. Crystal Shanice Bodie, Associate in Applied Science, Business Administration. Aisha Patrice Brooks, Associate in Applied Science, Business Administration. Jamar Maxwell Edge, Associate in Applied Science, Business Administration, Certificate Business Leadership, Diploma Accounting and Finance. Sarah Renee Griffin, Associate in Applied Science, Business Administration. Bradley L. Parker, Associate in Applied Science, Business Administration, Certificate Business Leadership. Michael Barry Parker, Jr., Associate in Applied Science, Business Administration, Certificate Business Leadership. Tashawn 
Jerome Powell, Associate in Applied Science, Business Administration, Microsoft Excel Certificate. Morgan Alicia R Russell, Associate in Applied Science, Business Administration, Certificate Business Leadership. Gloria Jean Whitaker, Associate in Applied Science, Business Administration, Certificate Business Leadership. Toya Knight Wilson, Associate in Applied Science, Business Administration. Jake Pitford, Jr., Associate in Applied Science, Collision Repair and Refinishing Technology. Antonio Markeith Wilkes, Associate in Applied Science, Collision Repair and Refinishing Technology. Nakia J. Baker, Associate in Applied Science, Early Childhood. Paris A. Barnes, Associate in Applied Science, Early Childhood Education. Michelle Berth, Associate in Applied Science, Early Childhood Education. Naomi W. Burgess, Associate in Applied Science, Early Childhood Education. Nastasia Renee Carmen, Associate in Applied Science, Early Childhood Education, Associate in Applied Science, School Age Education. Yeah. Azel Smith Carr, I'm sorry, Azela, Associate in Applied Science, Early Childhood Education. Lorraine Cooper, Associate in Applied Science, Early Childhood Education. Angelia Daltridge, Associate in Applied Science, Early Childhood Education. Marquisa Denise Douglas, Associate in Applied Science, Early Childhood Education. Rosalind Jones Evans, Associate in Applied Science, Early Childhood Education. <laughs> Stacy Harris, Associate in Applied Science, Early Childhood Education. Sharon Hilton Jones, Associate in Applied Science, Early Childhood Education. <laughs> Evelyn Ruth Hines, Associate in Applied Science, Early Childhood Education. Theodore Hinton, Jr., Associate in Applied Science, Early Childhood Education. Bessie Charlene Jones, Associate in Applied Science, Early Child, Johnson, I apologize, Early Childhood Education. Kawana Pope Maddox, Associate in Applied Science, Early Childhood Education. Jaquita Lynette Moody, Associate in Applied Science, Early Childhood Education. Alexius Renee Parker, Associate in Applied Science, Early Childhood Education. Marquita Phillips, Associate in Applied Science, Early Childhood Education. Mazel B. Price, Associate in Applied Science, Early Childhood Education. Christiana Nanette Simmers, Associate in Applied Science, Early Childhood Education. Gabrielle N. Smith, Associate in Applied Science, Early Childhood Education.
Angelisa, Angelisa, Lika, I'm sorry, Angelica Faith Staggers, Associate in Applied Science, Early Childhood Education. Erica Marie Tyler, Associate in Applied Science, Early Childhood Education. Joanne Thomas, Associate in Applied Science, Early Childhood Education. Brittany M. Young, Associate in Applied Science, Early Childhood Education. Gloria Jean Young, Associate in Applied Science, Early Childhood Education. Paxton Montgomery Jordan, Associate in Applied Science, Manufacturing Technology. Caitlin A. Tripp, Associate in Applied Science, Manufacturing Technology. Travis Corey Council, Associate in Applied Science, Network Management. Jasmine Chante Brown, Associate in Applied Science, Office Administration, Associate in Applied Science, Medical Office Administration, Certificate Metal Office Coding. Demetrius M. Burnett, Associate in Applied Science, Medical Office Administration. Christine Richardson Bullock, Associate of Applied Science, Office Administration. Kelly Denise Herndon, Associate in Applied Science, School Age Education. Sabrina L. Ramsey, Associate in Applied Science, School Age Education. Tierra Michelle Wheeler, Associate in Applied Science, School Age Education. Zakiz, I'm sorry, man. Zakez Marquardt, I can't say it all. Say it again. Zakez Marquardt Dickens, Associate in Applied Science, Software and Web Development. Andre Kearney, Associate in Applied Science, Supply Chain Management. Johnny Lee Poland, Jr., Associate in Applied Science, Support Services. Brad Stephen Armstrong, Associate in Applied Science, Trekking Operations, Diploma, Business Administration. Mr. Armstrong is the first graduate of our Trekking Operations Management Program. <laughs> Carolyn Yvonne Worsley, Diploma Accounting. Rodney Brian Harris, Diploma Barbering. Herman L. Mayfield, Diploma Barbering. Antonio D. Mayo, Diploma Barbering. Darius T. Lindsay, Diploma Business Administration. Shakira Janae Outlaw, Diploma, Business Administration. Shadasha Britton Barnes, Diploma, Cosmetology. Mackenzie Lee Butler, Diploma, Cosmetology. Jamal Terrell Cruz, Diploma, Cosmetology. Caprice Ibram, Diploma, Cosmetology.
Dion Hairston, Diploma, Cosmetology. Sean Devon Harper, Jr., Diploma, Cosmetology. Shramika Harris, Diploma, Cosmetology. Jasmine Huzzy, Diploma, Cosmetology. Timothy Price, Jr., Diploma, Cosmetology. Anayeli Ramirez Diaz, Diploma, Com Cosmetology. Rebecca Tebow, Diploma, Cosmetology. Shakila Whitaker, Diploma, Cosmetology. Brittany Leanne Coley, Certificate, Early Childhood Education. Shanice Aisha Chapman, Certificate, Aesthetics Technology. Woo! Jessica Sade Edwards, Certificate, Aesthetics Technology. Kishana Latora Farmer, Certificate, Aesthetics Technology. Rakina Brinkley Jones, Certificate, Aesthetics Technology. Wesley Chantel Parker, Certificate, Aesthetics Technology. He's behind me, okay? Joseph P. Lyles, Jr., Certificate, Office Skills. That's the last one. Good evening, everyone. My name is Bruce Panditon. I am the Dean of Health Sciences and Public Safety. Liller, Diane Anderson, Associate in Applied Science, Health Information Technology, Diploma, or Diploma Coding. Aja Nicole Belcher, Associate in Applied Science, Health Information Technology, Diploma Coding. Keisha Dawn Brayford, Associate in Applied Science, Health Information Technology, Diploma Coding. Lindsay Michelle Carter, Associate in Applied Science, Health Information Technology, Diploma Coding. Kelsey Lynn Faison, Associate in Applied Science, Health Information Technology, Diploma Coding. Suzanne Michelle Foreman, Associate in Applied Science, Health Information Technology, Diploma Coding. Danielle Hayes, Associate in Applied Science, Health Information Technology, Diploma Coding. Gina Renee Hewlett, Associate in Applied Science, Health Information Technology, Diploma Coding. Rhonda A. King, Associate in Applied Science, Health Information Technology. Brenda Grayel Kaiser, Associate in Applied Science, Health Information Technology, Diploma Coding. How are you? Tracy S. Kono, Associate in Applied Science, Health Information Technology, Diploma Coding. Zena Richardson Lynch, Associate in Applied Science, Health Information Technology, Diploma Coding. Yeah. 
Angelica G. Neely, Associate in Applied Science, Health Information Technology, Diploma Coding. Amanda P. Ray, Associate in Applied Science, Health Information Technology, Diploma Coding, Certificate Prote Protected Health Information. Elizabeth Marie Sprinkle, Associate in Applied Science, Health Information Technology, Diploma Coding. Markeisha Tanika Turner, Associate in Applied Science, Health Information Technology Diploma, Coding Certificate Protected Health Information. That's a mouthful. Sonia M. Withers, Associate in Applied Science, Health Information Technology, Diploma Coding. Lakira Rajay Bullard, Associate in Applied Science, Medical Assisting, Certificate, Electronic Health Record, Clinical Assistant. <laughs> Kathleen Rose Christman, Associate in Applied Science, Medical Assisting, Certificate, Clinical Assistant, Certificate, Electronic Health Record. <laughs> Taquisha. Shantae Farrow, Associate in Applied Science, Medical Assisting, Certificate Clinical Assistant, Certificate Electronic Health Record. Latonya Ann Hendricks, Associate in Applied Science, Medical Assisting, Certificate Clinical Assistant, Electronic Health Record Certificate. Monica Lee Latham, Associate in Applied Science Medical Assisting, Certificate Clinical Assistant, Electronic Health Record Certificate. Marianella Lopez, Associate in Applied Science Medical Assisting, Certificate Clinical Assistant, Electronic Health Record Certificate. Vicki D. Akers, Associate in Applied Science Medical Office Administration. Carol Ann Alston, Associate in Applied Science, Medical Office Administration, Certificate Medical Billing, and Certificate Medical Office Coding. Kayla Kimani Alston, Associate in Applied Science, Medical Office Administration. Maisha Cooper, Associate in Applied Science, Medical Office Administration. Shanika T. Daniels, Associate in Applied Science, Medical Office Administration, Certificate Medical Billing, Certificate Medical Office Coding. Gwendolyn Evans Fenner, Associate in Applied Science, Medical Office Administration, Certificate Office Software. Chastity Graham Woodley, Associate in Applied Science, Medical Office Administration, Certificate Medical Billing, Certificate Medical Office Coding. Kanisha Battle Hines, Associate in Applied Science, Medical Office Administration. Jasmine Brianna Knight, Associate in Applied Science, Medical Office Administration, Certificate Medical Billing. Antoinette S. Locke, Associate in Applied Science, Medical Office Administration, Certificate Medical Billing. Mickey Booth Newkirk, Associate in Applied Science, Medical Office Administration, Certificate Medical Billing, Certificate Medical Office Coding. Yeah. 
Shermonica Latrice Nicholson, Associate in Applied Science, Medical Office Administration, Certificate Medical Billing. Jade Kamaya Deshay Richardson, Associate in Applied Science, Medical Office Administration. Kimberly Renee Sharp, Associate in Applied Science, Medical Office Administration. Matoria L'Oreal Spencer, Associate in Applied Science, Medical Office Administration, Certificate Medical Billing. Wendy L. Vick, Associate in Applied Science, Medical Office Administration, Certificate Medical Billing. Thank you. Carol Regina Wilson Robinson, Associate in Applied Science, Medical Office Administration, Certificate Medical Billing, Certificate Medical Office Coding. Corvelia Denise Andrews, Associate in Applied Science, Associate Degree Nursing. Shannon Denise Bell, Associate in Applied Science, Associate Degree Nursing. Gotcha. Janaea Brianna Boyd, Associate in Applied Science, Nursing. Gina Lynn Coldwell, Associate in Applied Science, Associate Degree Nursing. Mashandi Chanel Copeland, Associate in Applied Science, Associate Degree Nursing. Aaron L. Cox, Associate in Applied Science, Associate Degree Nursing. Kristen Manning Ellis, Associate in Applied Science, Associate Degree Nursing. Shanitria K. Johnson, did I mess it up? Associate in Applied Science, Associate Degree Nursing. Sorry. <laughs> Tiffany Jones King, Associate in Applied Science, Associate Degree Nursing. Tiffany Michelle King, Associate in Applied Science, Associate Degree Nursing. Haley Kitchen, Associate in Applied Science, Associate Degree Nursing. Haley Lewis, Associate in Applied Science, Associate Degree Nursing. Fola Shade, Adenike Orofua, Laja Day, Associate in Applied Science, Associate Degree Nursing. <laughs> Rebecca Lynn Phelps Davis, Associate in Applied Science, Associate Degree Nursing. Christy Allison Pitt, Associate in Applied Science, Associate Degree Nursing. Quantasia Shanae Ridley, Associate in Applied Science, Associate Degree Nursing. Star E. Smith, Associate in Applied Science, Associate Degree Nursing. Virginia Rochelle Street, Associate in Applied Science, Associate Degree Nursing. Anna Ireland Adkins, Associate in Applied Science, Radiography. Michael Anthony Aquino, Associate in Applied Science, Radiography. Natalie Armstrong, Associate Degree in Applied Science, Radiography. Chelsea Jordan Clements, Associate in Applied Science, Radiography. Devin 
Devon A. Diana Crandall, Associate in Applied Science, Radiography. Sarah Louise Eccles, Associate in Applied Science, Radiography. Elizabeth Rose Gaylor, Associate in Applied Science, Radiography. Caitlin Marie Hoggard, Associate in Applied Science, Radiography. Kayla Brooke Joyner, Associate in Applied Science, Radiography. Say it again. Susan Parmalee McCadden, Associate in Applied Science, Radiography. Michaela C. Morris, Associate in Applied Science, Radiography. Derricka LaCole Robertson, Associate in Applied Science, Radiography. Robin Renee Thomas, Associate in Applied Science, Radiography. Shelby Renee Webb, Associate in Applied Science, Radiography. Lindsay Nicole Brock, Associate in Applied Science, Respiratory Therapy, and the 2019 Hamilton Medical Outstanding Student Award recipient. Brian Alexander Coleman, Associate in Applied Science, Respiratory Therapy. Shermaine Janae Davis, Associate in Applied Science, Respiratory Therapy. <laughs> Ashley Marie Hancock, Associate in Applied Science, Respiratory Therapy. <laughs> Renee Howell, Associate in Applied Science, Respiratory Therapy. Logan Brooke Joyner, Associate in Applied Science, Respiratory Therapy. Detron M. Phillips, Associate in Applied Science, Respiratory Therapy. You gotta slow down. I'm going too fast. Sorry. Yeah. I don't want to mess the names up. Jason Cole Pierce, Associate in Applied Science, Respiratory Therapy. Stella Smith, Associate in Applied Science, Respiratory Therapy. Tanisha Ann Whitaker, Associate in Applied Science, Respiratory Therapy. Carolyn Pugh, a Certificate Ambulatory Building Coding, Certificate protect, Protected Health Information. You ready? Okay, we'll give you the card. Kaya Darden, High School Equivalency. Blake Estes, High School Equivalency. Tabitha Grimmett, High School Equivalency. Angelina Harrison, High School Equivalency. Julie Harrison, High School Equivalency. Justin Holloman, High School Equivalency. Hold on one second. Make sure we don't. Jasmine Howard, High School Equivalency.
Tanisha Knight High School Equivalency. Dylan, gotcha. Dylan O'Neill High School Equivalency. Shaquana Pittman, high school equivalency. Ricky C. Shadding III, high school equivalency. Thank you. Wing. Nancy Wing, high school equivalency. Abatina Williams, high school equivalency.
May your hearts and lives always reflect his love and truth. And may hope be a light within you that you carry into each new day. We thank you for all that you've done, the many blessings bestowed upon us. Now to the one who's able to present us faultless before the throne of grace. Sweet communion of his Holy Spirit, let it rest with and abide with us henceforth and forevermore. And everyone would say, Amen. Amen.